Well, apparently the first part of this video, I guess two clips ago, the first, I don't know, the audio didn't record because I had my phone plugged into the radio because that's what I use for my GPS. But what I was trying to explain is that I'm on my way to Cabela's. I have, I think three things that I need. I need braided line. I need, um, what do I need? I need two top water baits because my, I guess my chatter bait, or I guess I have one of those. It was my whopper plopper that I need to replace because the last one that I had literally flew off my line. I don't know how it happened. I'm pretty sure the line ripped when I casted it. I, I'm not sure, but it flew off. I lost that. So that was $20 down the drain. And then I need another spinner bait because I lost that, I think on a rock. I think it got crammed in between two rocks last time I went fishing. But it is raining and there is like a super bad like wind advisory coming and like a storm um, here in Ohio. But I'm not gonna let that stop me from fishing because I wanted to fish all week and I've been waiting and today's my day off. So yeah, we're gonna go to Cabela's, get the things that I need, and then I think I'm gonna hit the river first, or I guess the river slash dam over by the area that I'm going to, and we'll see how good that um, works me. And then I guess if I don't catch anything there in like maybe an hour or two, then I'll switch it up and maybe hit a lake back towards my house. So yeah. Uh, I'll pick this back up at Cabela's and show you guys what I'm getting, and I'll see y'all in a second. All right, boys, we made it. Um, I think I'll record in here, but I don't think I'll probably do too much that way. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to throw my raincoat on, grab my wallet, head in there and get what I need. See you in a sec. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, looking at these Whopper Ploppers, but there is a lot of people in this store. But I got 15, or 14 pound fluorocarbon. I got 30 pound braid. I got my buzz bait. I think I got a black one in here too. Yeah, I got my black one. And then I got two different Whopper Ploppers. Probably I have a variety of colors. And then if I lose one, I have an extra one. And then spinnerbait, and a white one. I think I might change this one for a darker color. And then, I got creek bugs, because I like to fish in the river, so. I think I'm gonna go change this one out. I'm not sure yet though, but I'll keep you updated. Alright, I made a quick pit stop. I'm at this community college um, over here. I'm not going to give the name, but there is a pond back here. It's behind this building over here. You can't see it, but we're going to walk through this field. But um, it is a pretty nice pond. I've been here a few times. I know there's fish in here and there, there's some pretty big fish in here. It's not a huge pond though, but what I need to do is I need to get all my line out of here and go back here and reline my spinning reel. Um, I'm not going to mess with my bait caster, but um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and reline this and then we'll walk across this field and start fishing. Alrighty. I think this is a good angle, but I guess we'll trial and error. It's probably going to be a little bouncy too, but um, I just wanted to explain why I walked down here, kind of what these videos are meant to be. Because um, if you guys watched any of my previous videos, if this is the first video you came across, I do make car videos, and that's like my main, I guess my main thing, well, I don't know, but that's my main hobby, is cars, stance cars, that kind of thing, so if you guys are interested in that, and that's more of your thing, and like, kind of like me, how fishing is kind of like a side hobby, then there will be more car videos, um, 
I guess these both of these kinds of videos will be less during the winter because you can't really I mean you can fish in the winter but it's something I've never done but uh yeah here's the pond it's not too big but hopefully maybe we can get a little maybe a fish or two there is some pretty heavy wind probably just stay on this side though I got all my lures in here. I think a frog just jumped in there and kind of scared me a little bit. But yeah, I think I'm going to tie on maybe a, I don't know, honestly. I guess we'll just throw something on and kind of go from there. But I also do want to say, I do watch a lot of fishing videos. And I have noticed that I'm gonna throw this plopper on. I have noticed most fishing videos aren't really like real, I guess you could say. Um, every video that I've watched always upload. I'm trying to show you guys I'm doing here, I'm still learning. They always upload videos of like them catching things, if that makes sense. Like there's never there's never any videos where it's kind of just like someone just hanging out and just fishing, you know what I mean? Because in reality, you don't always catch something when you go fishing. There's been plenty of times where I've gone fishing and I didn't catch shit. Like, I think my last couple trips have been nothing but just no, like literally just nothing has been but that's just kind of the reality of it go ahead and tie this thing on so yeah I kind of want to do that kind of make it more I guess real I know every video isn't going to be like that obviously I'm going to try to catch some things but I do want to be like more open to like uploading things that I obviously don't catch stuff on because like I said that's just the reality of it is you're gonna go out here there's gonna be days you come out here and you don't catch anything and there's nothing wrong with that sometimes fish just literally don't bite but yeah just wanted to explain that it's kind of windy hopefully you can hear me Oh yeah. Hopefully we can get some bites. I'm using a black one right now though. I think the oh, I think my last one was a white one, like the bone white, whatever you would like to call it. But yeah, this is a black one, has a orange orange nose to it. Oh yeah, that was a good cast right across the pond. Hopefully we can get at least one. If not, that's all I got to is okay, we'll just go somewhere else. Here, fishy, fishy. Here come the geese. All right, decided to walk over this way. There is a little drain right here. Let's see if I can find anything over in this area. Um, I did want to say that I am going to Tennessee this year, or I guess next week. Oh, I felt something. I felt a little snag. Um, I am going to Tennessee this year for Slammed Enough, and I'll try to make as much content as I possibly can on that. Oh, that was a good one. That was literally on the bank of the other side. But yeah, I'm going to make car videos on that. Um, I think I'll do maybe two variety type videos with it. I think one, I'll probably do like, um, like a car edit, montage. I don't even know what the hell you would want to call it. Um, I'll do some of those. They'll probably be separate videos. They're kind of merged into two. 
but I'm gonna do that and then kind of like, not necessarily like a vlog, but which is gonna suck because winter's rolling up pretty damn fast. And I wanted to get my car done this year, but you know, things are super expensive right now. It's been kind of hard to get anything done on it. And then hopefully next year I'm moving out. I won't be living on my own anymore, so I'll have a lot more money to get that done. Because I know once my once the Miata's done, I want to work on my on my daily driver. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it yet, though. I don't want to slam it on the ground because I mean it's a daily, and I still pay on it. So like, I kind of don't want to break it. So I think I think what I'm gonna do is mainly just cosmetic, I guess, and then I'll probably just lower it on some nice coilovers. And then just wheels and stuff. Nothing crazy. But yeah. I think I'm just going to lower it. Uh, put some nice wheels on it. I've been looking for wheels. I think... I obviously want real wheels. I'm not a huge fan of reps. I've had both. I can say there is a huge quality difference. It's not just being a hater for no reason. Um, I really do like some of the work wheels. And then Enkai's, I don't, I wouldn't say they're reps, but they're definitely not like, I don't know how to explain it. All right. I know I showed you guys in the previous clip <clears throat> when I was in Cabela's. I did get the white one. Um, most top waters that I've used, like spinner baits, um, I've used white. And I've had, I've had pretty good luck on them. Honestly, I've caught uh, two or three with the white ones and then my chatter bait it's a blue one it's like a black and bluish I've had good luck with that go ahead and yeet that out there I know it's pretty much the same thing as a whopper plopper like pretty much the same difference that is Top water noise. All right, I'm gonna do, whoops. I'm gonna do a couple more casts. And then I think I'm just gonna just dip out of here and hit the river. Might be a little bit more active with all the fish coming downstream. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna call it at this pond. So it is getting really windy go throw one more really need to find the best camera angle for this too all right yeah We're, let's call it here and then we'll go ahead and hit the river <clears throat> or the dam so I'll catch you guys in a sec. POV the whip. Alrighty. I kind of forgot to film, I'm not gonna lie, while I was driving, like pulling up in here and whatnot. But I did make it. Um, I know there's literally no water. But <clears throat> to get to the, one to get to the pond, or I guess the lake, this one is a lake. There's two parts to this. Um, to get to the lake, it is down this path. I think it's like a, just like a half mile walk. It's not too far. I can literally see it through the trees. But to get to the dam, where I do want to go, that is a three mile walk, which is, kind of, I mean, it's not far, but it takes a good 15 minutes or so. But yeah, you can see it down there. <clears throat> Got the same pole, same setup. Braided right line into my leader. You can see it right there. Um, all right, I made it. There's that long ass trail I was talking about. There's also a trail up here, like a walk path. All 
Okay. I didn't make it. Oh, there's some deer over there. That was cool. Or doe, whatever you want to call them. Hopefully I got that on camera. That was pretty neat. Yeah. I think I'm going to fish over here in this little pocket area. It is starting to rain a little bit. And I might throw some of the, the creek bugs over there in that flat area. But yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm going to come over here to this little landing. All right, I'm going to start off with the buzz bait. Um, I don't know how effective this is going to be, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try anyway. Keeps getting tangled on this. I'm just going to cast it over here in the by this area. It's rain again now, so hopefully we can get a bite or two. Might have to go on the other side. I think the water's more calm over there. But we'll give this a few goes and see what we're working with. Fighting a lot of current. I can't really tell if it's a fish. If it is a fish, it's gonna be hard to tell is what I'm trying to say, because there's a lot of waves and current to fight through. All right, time to scale the mountain. This is the, the thing I was talking about. I had to get up on the stairs and then walk down the other way. Walking down, there's just a freaking doe chilling. What in the world? Oh, there's another one. Where's that? Right there. That's awesome. All right. What I'm gonna do is attempt to walk down this as slowly as I can. These weeds and stuff. Maybe something's sitting in there. Gotta be, right? It only makes sense. Just keep throwing it out there. See if I can get anything. I guess while I sit here and I wait for traffic to get on the highway, I'm um, gonna go ahead and close out the video. Um, I did call it early <clears throat> because the rain is actually picking up. Um, can't really tell on camera, but I'm like literally drenched. Um, I didn't catch anything, like I said, not too worried about that. It's totally okay with me. That's just, you know, the reality of fishing sometimes. A um, few things I want to say. Um, I will be making car content in Tennessee. Like I said, I'm going to Gatlinburg, or I guess Severville, however you pronounce it, for Slammed Enough. I'll make some videos on that. And then if it's not raining when I get back... I'll make more fishing videos doing that. And then I want to shout out to, sorry if I say your name wrong, Oatmeal. I'll link his channel down below. He inspired me to start making videos like this. Um, it's not something I've ever done really. So hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.